Hey Quilty friends! Hey Quilty kids! I'm Natalia Bonner and I am here with my daughter Chesney. Now you probably remember recently she joined me and she did a little bit of free motion quilting. Remember that? Yeah. And it was really fun. She did awesome. If you haven't seen that video make sure you check it out. There's a lot of information that's good for kids, right? Mm -hmm. Good for really anybody that wants to Try to touch the long arm machine, don't you think? Yeah. I think that you did really good and tried different things and kind of learned how to use the machine. Mm -hmm. So you should check that video out. It's a fun one. We also shared one a few weeks back if you want to check that out with our son, Brayden. And he did a little bit of his own machine quilting. He then quilted pumpkins. So also check out that video. But today we are going to do a little bit of ruler work. And I think it'll be a lot of fun just to see it from somebody else's point of view. I do so much ruler work and I, obviously I have taught it in person quite odd, often and we've got my stitch along going on, but you know, just somebody that's never even tried it. I think it'll be really fun to try it with you. You've never tried it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't know if you were sneaking in here at night when I was sleeping. Are you? Okay, good job not doing that. <laughs> okay, so um, what are we stitching on today? If you haven't joined yet, we have a stitch along going along over on our YouTube channel where every single day for 365 days, I am sharing video tutorials teaching you how to quilt with one of my machine quilting rulers. So I do have three of them. I have the four in one. What's the names of the others? The trailer and inside out. Yep. The trailer and the inside out. Those are the three rulers. And I'm teaching you how to use them. They, I love rulers and I don't think they have to be as scary as they seem to be. Sometimes I think they come across as really intimidating, but hopefully they're not. Hopefully you say they're not by the end, huh? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna tell you some things that you need to have before you start, okay? You need to have a machine. Okay. Check, we got the machine. It's working, we know it's in good working condition and on your machine, you need to have a ruler foot. So can you see that foot there that's on my machine? A foot? This it right here is called a foot. Okay, so this round thing, that's the machine's foot. Okay, did you have, you learned something new. I'm so excited, I taught you something. <laughs> so that's the foot, okay? And this is a ruler foot. So that foot, see how it's like really thick and big looking all around there? It's a quarter inch thick, so it is a foot that's made. See how the ruler's thick? This foot is made to slide right against that ruler. There's some of them, there's some feet that are really, really thin, like a really flat foot. And if you had that on there, then your ruler would come up here and like get broken and scary things would happen. Okay? Scary things? Yeah. Okay. Like you could get a needle in your finger. That's scary. Okay, so don't do that. <laughs> okay, so you, you have to think about safety. Okay, safety third, always. <laughs> okay, so when you are quilting, so this is my four in one ruler and I have some of the Westerly grip on here and we have this available on our website, it's peaceandquilt.com. The reason I have this on here, Chesney's never used a ruler before, so if she puts it down without any grip, it's going to just feel like it's sliding all around like that. But if you put the grip on here, put your hand on there and kind of push and tell me if you can slide it. A little bit. Okay, what about power. what about if you're doing it that way? More. So it's like easier, huh? This and way? Yeah. So when you go to do ruler work, you're going to put pressure. This is a really important step. You're going to apply pressure in a few different places. Now under here, I do have an extended base plate. So it's like this big flat table under uh -huh. here. And that table makes it so it's nice and flat, so I have a place to put my ruler, mm -hmm. okay? So this is really important, the pressure that you're going to apply. So I'm going to put gentle pressure, I'll put my hand on here, and just apply gentle pressure to the top of the ruler, okay? okay. So I don't want it to be so hard that I'm like pushing like that. Mm -hmm. This is just really gentle pressure, okay? The other place where we're applying pressure is kind of towards the side of the foot. Remember, this is a foot. Yeah. And then with your hand on the machine, you'll gently apply pressure, just this hand, against the side of the ruler right there. Okay? Mm -hmm. All that makes sense? All the places? Okay, so the first thing I'm going to have you do, we're going to stitch straight lines that just go back and forth like this. 
And this design is one of our stitch along designs. So make sure you check out the full tutorial for this design. We will post a link to it below in the description. So I'm going to stitch just down here to where you're going to start. Now, this is a little bit of math. Do you like math? Yeah. Okay, so you'll like math. Okay. Okay, so look where my needle is right there. We want our first line to be three quarters of an inch from this side of the block right here. Okay? Okay. So if I use this ruler right here, it has all of these markings on here. I want to line this three quarters of an inch line. So that one right there, it's the second line. I want to line that up right there on the side of the block, right on top of that. Okay? Now. Okay. Do you think in real life, is that three quarters of an inch from the side of this to that line? It looks littler, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it is littler. It's a smaller space. It's actually only half an inch from here to that three quarters of an inch marking because this ruler is designed that the markings on here are measured off of your needle position, okay? So with a ruler foot, most ruler feet are designed so that there's a quarter of an inch from here, the outside, to the needle position. So that's why the markings on here, do not use this ruler for rotary cutting. These are designed off of your needle position, okay? okay? Okay, so the first thing, I'm going to stitch the first line I want you to watch, okay? And then you get to do the whole rest. Okay. Okay, here we go. So I'm applying gentle pressure on here, putting one hand up here, start the machine. You can see I'm not moving it, so it's not really stitching. Then I'll just gently, now this is really gentle that I'm pushing pressure. Did you notice how my hand was just like one finger? Mm -hmm. So really gentle pressure. And I'm slight, I'm pushing kind of against the ruler, okay? And then slightly pulling towards myself. Okay. So with this next one, we'll turn the ruler and stitch over a half an inch. And you can kind of just guess on that. I've done it so often that I can kind of eyeball a half an inch. And I can see there I need to make another stitch over. Now, because I want, or three quarters. Because I'm three quarters of an inch at this point, okay? So I'm moving my ruler over. So the three quarter inch marking on my ruler now is right on top of that. Okay? So that's what you're going to do. Are you ready? Yes. Let's get ready to rumble. Keep going right to the top, all the way up. Oh, now stop, stop your machine. Okay, so from this point, I like to keep my needle in the down position when I stop. By doing that, when I adjust my ruler, when I rotate my ruler, I don't have to worry about my machine shifting or anything like that. I can then adjust my ruler and then start stitching again. Okay, so now you'll stitch across here just a little bit. That much? Yeah, about that looks good. Yep, see how the needle's down? So now you can move your ruler and put it on top of there. Now, can you see you need to go over just a little further? Okay, right there, can you stop? And right, oh, you went a little too far. So start it and go back this way, just like one stitch. Perfect. Okay. Now you ready? Mm -hmm. So always be careful. And this is what I think is really great about the 4-in-1 ruler is it's wide enough that you can put your hand flat on it like that. Just be careful that you keep your fingers away from that edge. That's about good. And another thing we could have done on here, Chesney, to make it a little easier when you're starting, we could have gone across here and put little marks where you needed to stitch to. Mm -hmm. That would have made it a little easier. Okay, make sure this is lined up straight. Look all the way up to the top. Proud of you. So 
that looks about good. Maybe one more stitch over. Good job. Okay, we we'll come back down. Perfect. You're doing so good. Yep. Good job. Perfect. And I bet you can fit one more in there, don't you think? Yeah. Oh, go over with one more. Oh, maybe back a little. Okay, let's move it away and look. Look how awesome that is. I am so proud of you. Chesney, mm -hmm. are you proud of yourself? Yeah. I want to do another. <laughs> you want to do another? Did you love it? Mm -hmm. That was awesome. She did so good. You want to do another? That's your thoughts? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for joining us today. That was so much fun. Chesney did so good. I can't even begin to tell you. I always say in my videos or talk to my husband about this and say, when I, it seriously just makes me so excited when I see that the things that I'm able to create and share, I can teach to other people. It's really super exciting for me. So that was a really cool moment. I hope y'all have a great day. See you later.